Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Hi. Where's Gag? I'll tell you what Gag is in a second. Um, my name is John Groweiler. I'm a member of Gays Against Guns. I'm also a New York City public school teacher, so I am today speaking on behalf of both teachers and gun reform activists. So, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Louder! Is that okay? <clears throat> okay. Um, so I have, some, because I'm a teacher, things get granular, so bear with me. Okay. Hello? Got it. All right. So as someone who is committed to making our country safer from gun violence and also to equitable education for our city's school children, I too am mourning the loss of our presidency and the loss of effective and compassionate leadership. I too am mourning, like you, and grieving the implications of this loss and what they mean for all of us. Today I'm wondering what the absence of presidency will mean for both the future of education and for the future of gun violence in this country. But I don't have to ponder long. I know what it means. As a result of this loss and the flawed leadership of Betsy DeVos, here's a plug, private and charter schools will take priority over public schools. As a result of this loss, Title I programs are at stake. As a result of this loss, the Individual with Disabilities Education Act is also at stake. So things are graver than we actually know. While all these initiatives will be couched under the rubric of leadership, the naked truth is that they are an attack on poor children, child development, and children with disabilities. In effect, causing greater segregation in schools, destabilizing our education system, increasing the school to prison pipeline, and undermining educational opportunity and freedom. Sorry. I'll try and be as loud as I possibly can. The education and welfare of children are not the only things that are at stake. Life and the safety of gun violence is also at stake. Yes. Donald Trump has been bought for the NRA by the NRA for $30 million. As a result, Trump owes the NRA lots of favors, and the payoffs are already coming. Just this week, the Senate voted on NRA Fact Resolution SJ14 to make it easier for the most seriously mental ill to get guns. <laughs> Passing this resolution is cruel to persons with mental illness and dangerous to communities. We must, be re we must remind ourselves that of the 32,000 gun deaths a year, two-thirds of those are owed to suicide. Gun violence is a public health crisis. Another NRA initiative waiting in the wings is the federally sanctioned reciprocity concealed carry permit bills, which mandates that states honor the concealed carry permits of other states. If this bill is passed, there will be guns in our schools, guns in our parks, guns in our theaters, guns in our nightclubs, and guns everywhere. There has never in our history been a time when a sitting president has so openly partnered with the NRA and its mission. Make no bones about it. Fighting gun violence is fighting Trump. Fighting gun violence is fighting Trump. No. Grizzlies against guns. <laughs> there are a couple of grizzlies and gags, so yes, that would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Finally, the last 29 days have revealed an armada of injustice is before us. But the last 29 days have also shown that where there's resistance, there is power. There's a tremendous current of power coursing through this nation from New York to California and states in between. It's up to each and every one of us to sustain this power. We will not forsake the presidency. We will not abandon our country the way Trump will clearly abandon us. This is a marathon, my friends, not a sprint. So what to do? Stay informed. Be an activist in ways that make you feel comfortable. Have fun. Join a local activist group like Rise and Resist or Gays Against Guns. Hey, another plug. <laughs> Work your ass for, off for them. Burn out. Take a break. Go back and do it again. Cross pollinate with other activist orgs and protest together like we are doing today. Honor the intersectionality of our lives. Hold all politicians accountable. Don't give them one inch. Keep your eyes on local elections. 
Not one inch. 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 Keep your eyes on local elections as well and larger elections. The midterms must be ours. Sleep. Eat. Go on dates if you need to. I don't care. Just ha enjoy your life as well. Come back and work harder again. And when someone asks you, how long do you expect to protest injustice? You tell them, as long as it takes. 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 Thank you. As long as it takes. As long as it takes.